Good day. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Douglas Harder, and in this topic, we're going to discuss subtraction of complex numbers. Now, in this topic, we're going to define the subtraction of complex numbers, look at a geometric interpretation, see some results, and use this to define a distance between complex numbers. We define z minus w as simply z plus the additive inverse of w, or alternatively, z plus negative 1 times w. Thus, if z is equal to alpha plus beta j and w is equal to gamma plus delta j, then we have that z minus w is the expression on the right-hand side. We can bring the minus sign into the right-hand side, and now we are summing these two complex numbers. We sum the real and imaginary components to get the result. For example, if z is equal to 0 0.7 minus 8.4j and w is equal to 1.5 plus 6.3j, we can calculate z minus w to be negative 0 0.8 minus 14.7j. As another example, if z is equal to negative 9.6 plus 0.1j and w is equal to negative 7.5 minus 8.2j, then z minus w is equal to negative 2.1 plus 8.3j. Let's go back to our geometric interpretation of complex numbers. Here we see two complex numbers, z and w, in the complex plane. The value negative w is a reflection of w through 0. We now add negative w on to z, and this produces the result z minus w. You can also see visually that z minus w is essentially the complex number going from w to z. Now let's make a few observations. Theorem. z minus w is the additive inverse of w minus z. Well, the proof is easy enough. All we have to do is add the two differences together. And from our definition, those differences are equal to z minus the additive inverse of w plus w plus negative z. However, remember that complex addition is commutative and associative. So let's just rearrange those as follows. But z plus its additive inverse and w plus its additive inverse are both 0. So this is 0 plus 0, or 0. Thus, w minus z is indeed the thing which added on to z minus w to equal 0. A result of this is that complex subtraction is not commutative. For example, if z is equal to 1 and w is equal to j, z minus w is 1 minus j, but this is not equal to negative 1 plus j, which is the result of w minus z. Again, to prove that something is not true, you just have to come up with a single counterexample. But if you want to prove that something is true, you must prove it in general. By the way, you already use this previous result when you're subtracting real numbers. Suppose you wanted to calculate x minus y when x is greater than y. Easy enough, you learned this in elementary school. However, what happens if you wanted to subtract x minus y when y was greater than x? You didn't learn a technique for that in elementary school. Instead, what you did is you calculated y minus x and you negated the result. That is, x minus y is the negated value of y minus x. Theorem. z minus w is equal to 0 if and only if z is equal to w. That is, if z minus w is not 0, then w and z must be two different complex numbers. Again, the proof is easy enough. Given the expression z minus w equaling 0, we just add w to both sides. 
Oh, but wait a second. Complex addition is associative, so not a problem. So we can rewrite it as follows, and oh, well that's just z plus zero, and so therefore z is equal to w. Therefore, we can also interpret the absolute value of z minus w to be the distance between two complex numbers. So here's a few properties for you to prove because we've already seen both complex subtraction and the absolute value. So first, the absolute value of z minus w is not negative. The distance from z to w is equal to the distance from w to z. The distance from z to w is equal to zero if and only if z and w are equal. And if we multiply both z and w by a real scalar gamma, then this scales the distance by the absolute value of gamma. In our geometric interpretation of complex numbers, we again see that the absolute value of z minus w is the distance shown, and that again is a reasonable interpretation of the distance between those two complex numbers. Let's look at that last property visually. That is, if we scale both z and w by a real number gamma, then the distance between those two scaled complex numbers is just the absolute value of gamma times the distance between z and w. So here we see z and w and the distance between them. If we multiply both or scale both z and w by 2, then the distance between those two new points is now twice the original distance. Similarly, if we multiply each of z and w by negative 0.8, then the distance between those new two, two points is again 0.8 times the original distance. In summary, in this topic we've introduced the subtraction of complex numbers. We just defined z minus w to be z plus the additive inverse of w. We observed that subtraction is not commutative. We looked at a few other properties, but most importantly we defined the absolute value of z minus w to be the distance between the two complex numbers z and w. Here are some references, acknowledgments, a colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers!